Welcome back to the Judgment 2024 about Lok Sabha and different assembly elections. Uh, we'll uh, wrap up, I'm sorry, we'll uh, refresh with the new numbers that YCP is at 23, TDP is at 127, JSP is at 18, BJP at 6 in AP assembly seats, whereas in Lok Sabha, NDA is at 292 and India Block is at 201 and others are at 50. And uh, we would like to inform all our viewers that both in Parliament and in as AP Assembly, the halfway mark have already crossed by NDA Alliance in both the Parliament and in the State Assembly. We are very happy to have our guest, Mr. Venukopal Reddy, back. Mr. Venukopal Reddy, welcome back to the show, sir. Thank you for your patience in waiting uh, for us. Uh, sir, uh, you were uh, talking about the capital issue just uh, going before the break. And uh, what is the assurance that you would like to give for the uh, people of Kanul and Vizag? But probably they might have rejected YCP now. But uh, deep in the heart, everybody will be having one particular question that uh, what will be our future? The people of Kanul, uh, which was the first state capital of the state of Andhra, and Vizag uh, would be remaining uh, as the largest provider of uh, largest revenue provider being the biggest city it, it will be forever even if amravati becomes the capital also what are the assurances that you would like to give for the people of karnul and vizag largest city what we have in andhra pradesh at this point and vizag is going to be the one of the income generation city uh, that is for sure. Uh, the, if you look at the judgment, uh, what we are seeing today, even Vizag and Karnul people are opposing the decision what we, uh, what Jagan Mohan Reddy was made. So they are not happy with the Vizag capital or uh, Karnul capital. They want one capital, one state. So everybody wants the same because we want the centralized development and we want the, I mean, decentralized development is required but not like a decentralized in the say, state's capital. So we need one place, everybody wants to come there and do their everything like a legal or administrative or whatever other things need to be done by government. Uh, so Vizag people are very clear on the Jagan Mohan decision and everybody, uh, I mean nobody wants Vizag to be capital for Andhra Pradesh because Vizag is very calm going city and uh, everybody have a peaceful life in out there. Uh, if you go look at the situation from last two years, that become very worst. A lot of land lobbyings and these uh, street fights, all these things happening in Vizag. So that's why people are rejecting uh, Jagan Mohan Edition. And same with the Karnul also. But from the Chandra point, uh, we are very clear on the state development and we want decentralized development and we want all the cities to be developed that includes Rail Sima, Costa Andhra, as well as uh, Krishna Kuntur areas. So part of that we have clear uh, vision. Uh, so we are, if you look at 2014 and 2019, we have got Kia Motors and we established one of the big manufacturing or automobile unit, uh, automobile center in another district. Now, another poor district is become very strong. So, a lot of employment created by Kia and Kia subsidiary companies. And we need to do the same with the Karpa district with the steel plant. We are going to work on the steel plant and we'll try to initiate the work and we'll try to complete within a couple of years and then give employment to the Karpa district people. And also same with the Karnul district. Karnul itself have a lot of resources, natural resources, as well as Karnul is known for a uh, educated people. So we'll try to establish the, some companies out there and try to create more employment for Karnal people. So that so that will be we, we have will be done with the fulfillment process for trial Sima region. Come to Vizag. Vizag itself have a lot of income generation sources. We have beach, we have port, we have airport, and we have a lot of companies established already out there. So all we need to do is support them and build more infrastructure and. Uh, encourage people to come and uh, set up their own offices or set up the new companies so that will create more employment in Vizag area so so that the Vizag and the coastal area will be developed and uh, anyway we are going to focus on Amaravati development and we will try to rebuild Amaravati and uh, 
make amravati is one of the beautiful capital in a uh, uh, country and make uh, andhra will have the capital going forward that is going to be stand from tdp and nda point you are seeing the visuals of the celebration at your offices different offices and even uh, mr chandrababu naidu is reaching the party office and he is yeah. uh, getting a very very much laurel welcome from your party cadre sir uh, and uh, coming to the coalition issue in 2014 if you see then also the bjp jsp and uh, tdp of course jsp did not contest the election then but bjp and the uh, tdp with the support of jsp has uh, fought the election and you have won it but by 2019 uh, both the three parties have parted their ways and now again this anti jagan coalition has come into the force uh, especially after uh, chandrababu naidu was uh, imprisoned um and uh, purandareshwari and chandrababu naidu have spoken against one another in 2014 and later on uh, there were the differences between pawan kalyan and uh, Ch chandrababu naidu also but now all the three have actively participated and you have won with a very clear cut majority are you sure that this particular uh, coalition or this particular friendship will continue for the next 5 years no matter whatever happens whether center uh, gives the assistance or not because we are not sure on that part what is your saying on that no definitely definitely will 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 have this alliance will continue for next 10 years even if you look at the campaign visuals pawan kalyan garu and nara chandra ravi nadu garu and even bjp narendra modi garu was very clear so to put the state on track to put the state again in the shape and to put the state back on the track we definitely need this alliance to be continued for next 10 years that's very clear so that's what we gave promise to people and we are with, we are going to stick on it there is no doubt at all definitely we will be working together and we will try to rebuild the state and we will work on the development process and we will work on the people's problem and we definitely andhra is kind of in lot of deficit at this point uh, every person have a lot of i mean everybody knows that and we have like around some lakhs of deficit so first we need to come out of the deficit budget and try to generate some income sources in state and for that actually we need to get more companies and more uh, investments need to come to the state then only uh, income will generate it so definitely we'll be working closely and we'll be having these alliances for next 10 years and work on the development and work on the investments work on the proper governance and good governance to the people and uh, work on both uh, schemes as well as development parallelly uh, so we are very good in that part tdp meant for both development and the schemes and welfare so we'll we'll work on the same formula and uh, bring back the glory of andhra pradesh in state uh, mr reddy uh, regarding as you have mentioned welfare schemes in the state of andhra pradesh like the different schemes like amma wadi and uh, auto so, so many schemes have launched it and uh, experts have criticized this even your party has uh, time to time uh, you have been criticizing that you are distributing the wealth rather than creating the wealth but now uh, your party in the recent election campaign also has promised it few more welfare schemes be it the free, free travel to women uh, like what are happening in karnataka and telangana means indirectly you have promised more welfare schemes without suspending any existing welfare wealth distribution how are you going to cope up in this particular scenario because you have promised more without discontinuing anything old what's your say on this sir? yeah see uh, for any government uh, welfare and development both are like a two eyes so no matter who will be the running the show they need to focus on both things welfare and development so tdp is and ara chandrababu naidu are very good in capturing more investments and generating the wealth generating the more money uh, and then distribute that money to the uh, public in the form of welfare that's the formula we did before and we are going to do that same formula from next tomorrow basically so we we know how to generate the money we know how to distribute and we know what need to be distributed and how much need to be distributed to the people and what is important what is not important i know we gave lot of promises as part of election campaign we are 
will be sticking on those promises. We are not going to deviate. Uh, we are not going to uh, skip any promises. We'll be fulfilling the promises, and uh, part of fulfilling, we need money. For that, we are going to create some wealth in the state, and we'll try to get more investments and more fundraising uh, activities. And we have more uh, plans uh, in the pipeline. Uh, our, our leadership is very strong in getting uh, and generating uh, wealth and then distribute it to the people. Uh, Chandrababu Naidu, even the total country knows that he is really good in capturing the investments and uh, building the states and building the em creating employment and uh, distributing money as part of welfare. Uh, so we all know that and he did from last, I mean, this is the fourth time he's going to become chief minister. In last three terms, uh, he never had a problem to create a wealth or distribute a welfare schemes. So we, we are going to stick on those promises and we'll be distributing or we'll be fulfilling those promises. Uh, Mr. Reddy, uh, regarding the industries that were existing which have uh, went away from the state, be it Amar Raja Batteries or the Lulu Mall, and in between we have got even the different media reports, include, including the international media also said that Kia Motors also is planning to uh, suspend the existing operations in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, but anyhow, they have continued because they, whatever they have established there, they cannot uh, stop it. But Amar Raja Batteries and Lulu Mall have gone away from the state. They have promised uh, the expansions, but uh, they did not do that. And now Amar Raja Batteries uh, is completely Gala Jaydev, which who is your party candidate and who was the face of TDP in the Lok Sabha for the last term. What would be your plan of action in getting back those industries, uh, be it Amar Raja Batteries yeah. or uh, any other things, who has gone out of the state? And what would be your plan of action in setting up the new industries, sir? It's, it's really unfortunate uh, whatever happened in the state uh, from last couple of years. Hundreds of companies went away from Andhra Pradesh and they started their uh, business in different states like uh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu and uh, nearby states like Karnataka. Uh, part of that, Amar Raja factory and Lulu, Lema, Lulu Mall, these things are very big. Amar Raja factory, it's uh, one of our uh, party's MP. He is very strong, uh, named Gala Jaydev. And uh, their family knows for business. They are not like uh, politicians. They always try to do good for people and they create employment in Chitur district and they did a lot of work in Chitur and uh, Tirupati area. But Jagan Mohan Reddy, uh, mindset is totally different. He wants the commissions and his even the YSRCP leaders, they are always looking for uh, uh, money. They are not, they're not trying to develop the state or they are not trying to encourage the businesses. Part of these activities, everybody kind of fed up and they want to uh, run away from the state. Uh, that's how Amar Raja Factory and the Lulu Mall, all the other businesses went out and uh, they started their own uh, offices or businesses outside the state. Uh, so again, we are going to work on these uh, industrial cadder and SEZs and we'll try to increase the small businesses and these large businesses and we'll try to do the benefits and provide the benefits uh, from the state and uh, we'll, we'll encourage them to start their business back in, in uh, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, and we have we have a very, uh, I mean, Nara Lokesh Babu Garu, he, he last up 2017 to 2019, he worked as IT minister and that time he got a lot of companies like Wipro, Capgemini, Tech Mahindra, those companies already started their businesses in Vizag. And we are going to increase those numbers again and uh, we'll try to get more investments uh, in Vizag as well as Amaravati uh, and uh, other areas like Tirupati also. And again, we'll try to uh, talk with uh, our party MP, Kala Jaydevgaru, and uh, rethink about the decision what we made, uh, what they made like a couple of years back. And if they have any plans to start new, uh, like a new, 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 branch or new office, definitely we'll ask them to do it in again in Tirupati or Chitu, Chitu district area and we'll try to get those investments back to the state. And uh, it's it's not about Amaraz or Lulu. I mean, we know how to get more investments and we know how to capture the market and uh, Chandra Ognado's leadership and administrative power, a lot of people knows all the industry, it's, they are, they are ready to come back and start their businesses uh, in Andhra Pradesh again. Uh, and it's going to be a big game changer. Uh, and it's going to create a lot of wealth and employment for the state. And it's a good sign again. 
uh, let's see how it goes but definitely we have some plans and uh, increase the businesses and uh, get back those businesses and start their ventures again uh, sir as far as uh, the other telugu state telangana is concerned uh, we are getting the reports that congress is winning 8 and bjp is winning 8 bjp is your partner in uh, andhra pradesh uh, and you have chosen to be away from telangana initially you said that uh, tdp was born in telangana but and we are going to contest all the seats but uh, uh, do you did not uh, choose to contest in the state of telangana however your alliance uh, bjp is winning very well in telangana with seven members brs is wiped out and congress though it is your rival party uh, previously but na- at present the if you see the telangana cabinet be it the chief minister or the prominent ministers they were once upon a time they had uh, they are from the dna of tdp meet revan reddy or sitakka they still had match chandra babu naidu a lot and how is your relationship with telangana is going to be uh that's a good question actually i mean it's it's <laughs> i know it's not time to discuss about telangana politics but definitely uh, whatever the names you mentioned they are all part of uh, tdp dna uh, and tdp meant for the uh, building a new leaders uh, tdp is a factory of uh, leaders uh, i mean we know how to uh, make a leaders and we know how to uh, make them as a good leaders so part of that uh, revan reddy garu and uh, sitakka and other leaders uh, who is in a uh, telangana congress they are all from tdp uh, that's a good and uh, yeah anyway congress is not part of uh, the game now and bjp yeah the good sign is bjp is really doing great in telangana and they are going to get a good number of mp seats uh, that's a good sign and uh, it's it's the alliance what we have uh, that's only for andhra at this point uh, and we don't know what's going to happen in telangana going forward uh, we definitely have plans to start or uh, restart the party in telangana region because uh, tdp cadder is there in telangana region and lot of people wants to support the party lot of people wants tdp to contest in the elections but due to so many regions uh, last time um, babugar arrest and other regions we took the decision that we are not going to contest in ml elections but it doesn't mean we are not going to enter we definitely going to enter again in telangana and we'll try to uh, serve for the people of telangana and uh, uh, we have very strong cadder and roots in telangana region uh, yeah our leadership is going to think about it and start working on re- creating a party uh, cadder or party leadership or the pro- i mean whatever we needed in telangana region so they will be working on it uh, it's it's too early to talk about telangana politics but the good sign is bjp is getting really good numbers from telangana that means bjp proved that telangana people is really needed uh, opposition party the brs is no more at this point so now the fight between congress and bjp and bjp is going to be one of the uh, second leading party in telangana sir a very emotional statement uh, it was very emotional the scenes we have seen previously in the state of uh, in, in andhra pradesh state assembly where chandra babu naidu finally said that i will return as the chief minister and he stepped out of the assembly and he did not return to the assembly he did not step into the assembly and of course now it is clear cut that he is returning as the chief minister only as per the promise or as per the challenge what he has thrown towards ycp what was the that was very emotional uh, frankly speaking whether you support a party or not those uh, disturbing scenes were has definitely hurt the normal people a lot and being in the party what was your reaction at that particular time and how are you feeling how proud are you feeling on your party chief that he has uh, won the challenge yeah uh, here two things one is very emotional because uh, those things will not happen should not happen in the assembly because assembly is the place where you talk about the people problems do good for the people and take decision for the state development unfortunately ysrcp was uh, kind of targeting narachandra rao nad garu and criticized a lot and targeted family and family members and ladies everybody uh, that's the that time chandra rao nad garu challenged the assembly and uh, uh, jagan mohan reddy's party saying that he'll be coming back as a chief minister today uh, we are going to uh, i mean we did lot of homework we did lot of hard work behind the scenes 
uh, and uh, we came back and we came back with the strong uh, seats now we are Chandrababu Naidu is going to back is going back to the assembly as a chief minister. Uh, that's really proud moment, and it's uh, uh, it's it's kind of emotional, and it's really uh, happy uh, today because we whatever the challenge we made that day, we we are on the challenge, and we kind of reached that target. And today, again, Chandra Nadgar is going to be, become chief minister and he will be going to the assembly as a chief minister and he's going to uh, prove himself that he is very strong on his words. Uh, that's the first part. And second part, uh, whatever the things happen in assembly and whatever happened in, uh, at the time of this illegal arrest of Nara Chandra Nadgar, those things gave really kind of positive or uh, it, it added value to the party because the party cadre was kind of silent at this point after Babu and RS everybody got aggressive and everybody got angry and they started working for party uh, today whatever the numbers we are seeing it's all happened because of those two regions if those two regions was not there maybe uh, I don't think we would have done this kind of election so this election results what we are seeing today it's happened because of that's those incidents so in a way it's good for the party but unfortunately those kind of things should not happen and should not going to happen in this future uh tdp is not going to do to those kind of body saving or uh, these uh, uh, kind of statements in assembly we have common sense and we are kind of tdp cadre and tdp leadership have some discipline and we follow those discipline and uh, common we have common sense uh srcp definitely did wrong and they did really blunders in the last five years and people are punished uh, people and uh, all the telugu people notice their whatever the things they did in the last five years and they give punishment to the ysrcp today yeah. and uh, if you look at the numbers uh, they are going to get uh, lesser than janasena that's the situation in Andra, that's the situation of ISRCP today. Yes, so, uh, no comments on that part. They, whatever they did, uh, yeah, everything uh, kicked back them. Mm. Uh, yes, I'm very happy to listen the words of dignity from you that uh, you're going, not going to do any body shaming and all that. Uh, but what no, no, might be no, the no, reason? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yeah we are you. not going to do that because TDP is not, mm. uh, leadership is not going to encourage those kind of things. We have clear uh, like kind of discipline or clear instructions from the party that we are not doing we're not going to do these kind of things uh, so we respect people we respect especially women uh, so tdp uh, have cadre have some discipline so regarding the imprisonment whatever might be happened but uh, the matter of fact what we have to accept even today that uh, mr chandrababu naidu is not completely acquitted from all the cases but he is on bail and you have also attacked jagan mohan reddy that means your party has attacked jagan mohan reddy in so many situations that he is on bail he is not an acquitted candidate and but uh, at the same time now uh, even why why SRCP and Jagan Mohan Reddy is also getting a chance that Chandrababu Naidu is one but CM who is not completely acquitted. How are you going to deal with those comments? Definitely, uh, I'm sure definitely it's going to come. These uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy will be alleging in the same way as once what he has faced. How are you going to deal with that? See, we, we don't need to do anything about the Jagan Mohan Reddy cases because everybody knows, all the country knows what Jagan Mohan Reddy did and how much he looted from the people and how much money they, I mean, how many scams they did. So that's why like he never got a full bail. Even today, if you want to travel outside country, he needs to get approval from CBA and court. That is the situation of Jagan Mohan Reddy. Nara Chandra Abunadigaru was not there in the situation. So because the whatever the cases or allegations they made, uh, YSRCP made, those are like false allegations. We don't have any proofs. They don't have any proofs that they don't have any uh, clear like evidence. Okay, so that's why 
court clearly gave bail to narachandra babu naidu but it's that only he, bail so it's not complete acquittal right because it's bail but not. it's not like uh, he don't have any restrictions like mm-hmm. jagan mohan reddy jagan mohan reddy if you want to travel to london or any other country outside india mm-hmm. you need to get approval from court everybody knows right but mm-hmm. uh, last week chandra babu naidu got to travel up to he, he don't have that situation he traveled without anything because he didn't do any mistake so mm-hmm. but uh, regarding the bail uh, regarding the cases of jagan mohan reddy uh, we are not going to do anything because the cba and the law and order is there he they'll take care of the cases and they know what jagan mohan reddy did and uh, how and what needs to be uh, recovered from him and again on top of the previous scams he also did lot of scams in last 5 years uh, he literally looted on the pradesh uh, people's money he looted lot of uh, like land lobbying and sand mafia and liquor mafia what not actually they did lot of scams in last 5 years everything need to be uh, recovered and uh, we are, i mean from the government side and land at the side uh, the system will take care and they are going to get punished for sure uh, uh, if they did mistake i'm sure they did a mistake but it's not something we are going to do land order is going to take care and system is there to take care of those things and definitely the people who did mistake will be get punished no matter whether it is jagan mohan reddy or jagan mohan reddy party leaders uh, whoever it may be uh, the rule is rule for all it's it's a simple and what about uh, sir uh, we have got the initial report that uh, every minister in the cabinet is trailing in ycp and they are almost in the losing including uh, uh those people who have fired who had uh, frankly speaking who has abused chandra babu naidu in the assembly including uh, uh minister roja he she is also trailing uh, from nagari what's your say on this yeah see uh people people knows uh, who did good and what who did bad and people knows who is doing and who is working for for people who is working for their personal benefits so if you look at the ministers like uh, gurwada i mean nani or roja or vallabhini vamsi or uh, bhotsa satnarayan or ambatti ram babu these people uh, never work for people they always work for jagan mohan reddy and ysrcp they always want to get kind of uh, what do you call like basically they try to impress jagan mohan reddy and try to impress uh, ysrcp cadre that's it they are not working for people people clearly understand the general public is not fools at this point general public knows who is doing what so they realize that these ministers are not doing anything for the state not doing anything for the people and that's why they gave this judgment so real uh, we are seeing clearly around 80% of ministers uh, they are going to lose this in, the, in this elections and uh, it's 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 a good sign actually at least people will understand and the leaders they try to understand what they did and what the mistakes they did and uh, what needs to be rectified uh, yeah those things are it's it's a good sign actually people are understanding and people are not uh, leaning towards the money they are they are they give clear judgment that they are not capable or they are not uh, that they are not right persons for that position So That's same the members uh, this particular situation you have faced uh, same situation you have faced in the year 2019 where uh, i don't think the, the work is concerned but uh, your party has fared very badly in 2019 election and you have come up with the same force uh, but uh, as a coalition so this particular opposition always uh, said uh, in the past 5 years that tdp cannot fight the elections alone Uh, how are you going to retaliate them now in this particular assembly because numbers you have achieved as a coalition what they have dug, uh, what they have a- aimed in the last election what uh, what is your plan of action see he he had two things i mean like see it's it's about the numbers so we are not looking back and uh, talking about the alliances again and again because alliances made for the state development alliances made for the people alliances made for the state of andhra pradesh uh, rebuilding process okay that is done now the now we need to work on the implementation part we need to work on the development focus uh, but the 
party ysrcp and ysrcp leaders they always target uh, and they always say that tdp alone will not go and contest in the elections that's why they are forming all these alliances and uh, they they make they made a lot of uh, words that's okay um, we are not thinking about them because uh, end of the day what we want is we want the state to be in the right position right place and we want the state to be in a good uh, hands that's why we form these alliances uh, we don't care about ysrcp leaders or ysrcp uh, i mean sajjal r jagan mohan reddy's words uh, those those time is gone uh, so we made a lot of statements in our campaign time and they also did counters and we did counters uh, that that the election campaign process and counter process is done now we need to work on the state development now we don't have any time to talk about this ysrcp cheap politics or uh, cheap statements